Hello and welcome to CheapSheds.com. This video will show you how to build perfect barn style roof trusses using the plans available on my website at CheapSheds.com. Barn style roofs are nice because they give you lots of additional storage space. The trusses look complicated to build but they aren't. In fact, they are easy to build because they consist of only two different components which are symmetrical and easy to assemble using a temporary truss jig. The two components are the 2x4 truss rafters and the OSB or plywood webbing which ties the 2x4 rafters together. Build the trusses on the empty floor because it will be part of your temporary truss jig. Plus, the floor makes a nice clean workspace to cut and organize your pieces on. See Table 3 for the number of trusses to build. Take the truss count number from under the center spacing you want to use, either 16 or 24 inch on center. That truss count number minus 1 times 6 is the number of OSB web pieces you'll need to cut. Take the same truss count number times 4 for the number of 2 before truss pieces you'll need to cut. Rip some OSB into strips 12 inches wide and 8 foot long. Cut these strips into pieces 6 inches long. You'll need enough of these 6 by 12 inch pieces to build the number of OSB web pieces you just calculated. Leave them square at this time. See Table 2 to get dimensions G and H. All the truss pieces are identical. Cut the necessary number of pieces with 22 and a half degree angles on each end and a length of H along the long side. Build a temporary truss jig by screwing two long two befores to adjacent edges of the floor at 90 degrees to each other. Align them to the edges of the floor and attach them with three to four screws along their length. This way the floor acts as a giant builder square. Cut three OSB pieces about one and a half inch by three inches to use as stops. From the inside corner of the jig measure up a distance of one half G and place a mark on the inside face of the two before. Attach the first stop here using two two inch drywall screws. Attach the second stop the same half G distance along the bottom of the jig. Attach a third stop at distance G from the inside corner. Place two truss pieces between the half G stops. Put their ends firmly into the stops and bring the top ends together. Place a 6x12 piece of OSB under the joint where the ends meet. Make sure it's symmetrical. Mark along the top of both pieces with a pencil, then remove the OSB piece. Cut along these lines and use this piece as a template to mark and cut the rest of the OSB web pieces. Build all the half truss assemblies by placing truss pieces in the jig and attaching the OSB web with six to eight one and three quarter inch nails or screws at each side. You can use glue or construction adhesive for an extra strength. Do this to the first side of the trusses only. Before you remove the first half truss, place a pencil mark on the floor at the outside edge of this joint. If the rest of the finished pieces match up to this mark, then you know your trusses will be the same. If they don't line up, then you might have a problem and need to redo something. Place two half trusses between the G stop and the inside corner and bring the ends together. Attach an OSB web piece at this joint. Mark the outside of this joint on the floor to use as a check for the rest of the trusses. Flip the truss over on the other side. Place an OSB spacer under each end, then attach an OSB web piece to each of the three joints. 
Do this for all except the last two trusses. Leave the OSB webbing off the back side of the last two trusses because these will be the end trusses that you will nail the siding to. Thanks for watching this video on building barn style roof trusses. To see all my shed and garage building videos or to buy these plans, please visit my website at cheapsheds.com.